What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here, welcome back to another PS4 tutorial. So in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you guys how to mod Ghosts and Advanced Warfare using uh, P the PS4 Multi-Cod tool. This is a tool that um, I released uh, today, um, well it should be, uh, whenever I upload this video it should be the day that I release it. So I actually made this tool um, a couple of months ago, but it was using a private PS4 API. So basically like an, an RTE plugin, like XRPC or JRPC. Um, I was using a private one, so I couldn't release it. Um, but now I've ported it over to a PS4 API that, um, that Black Panther released a few days ago. Um, so now I can release it. So uh, here's basically what you're gonna want to do in order to get it all connected. Now, obviously you need a PS4 on 1.76 firmware. That's a given. You need 1.76 firmware in order for it to work. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, I'm going to show you guys what how to use it on Ghosts because uh, it's identical on Advanced Warfare pretty much. So what you're going to want to do is head onto the internet browser on your PS4 and go to one of the versions of the WebKit uh, Playgrounds. So this one here is good at uh, f-x.fr forward slash ps4 forward slash. And you want to go to code execution and press X on go and wait for it to say waiting for payload. Now when it says waiting for payload, all you got to do is type in your PS4's IP address into the connection box and then click send payload and then you'll see that it changes to executing. Now you might want to stay on this page for a few seconds before backing out to start the game. So usually maybe about 10 to, to 30 seconds because it can sometimes take a little while to execute, it doesn't fully execute instantly and you can end up with connection problems. I have had a few issues with this PS4 API where I can't really connect it sometimes and I'm not sure why that is um, but usually you just got to try a few times and it will connect. So anyway it's on executing so we've probably left it enough time enough time now so just press the PlayStation button in the middle of your controller to back out of the webkit. Do not press circle to back out of the webkit otherwise um, that will quit the webkit. You want to keep it kind of running so you just want to press the middle button on your PS4 and then start the game. So I'm going to start Ghosts. Now you don't want to click connect to PS4 until you're actually on um, until you're actually on multiplayer uh, because this tool is for multiplayer on Ghosts and Advanced Warfare. It's not for single player, so it will not work on single player. So you need to go to multiplayer and then we'll go ahead and we'll set up a game. So we'll just do LAN. Uh, create game. We'll do six players on each side. Regular difficulty, and as for, I guess we'll change maybe the time limit a little bit. Make that uh, unlimited. I'll just make them both unlimited. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. And now that it's starting, you can click connect to uh, PS4, and it'll say connected. If it says failed to connect, then Make sure you actually start a multiplayer match and um, if it's still saying failed to connect, failed to connect every time you click it, go back and reload the payload because like I said, this PS4 API is a bit funny sometimes. Um, but as you can see, it connected. Once it connects, you can then open one of the tools. So I'm going to go ahead and open the ghost tool, get into the game here. Okay, so I've spawned in here. I'm going to go ahead and open up the ghost tool. So once on the ghost tool, what you want to do is just fetch clients or on Advanced Warfare, either one, and it will grab all the players who are currently in the game. Then what you want to do is just select yourself or any player you want to apply a mod to, and then just apply that mod. So for myself, I'll put God Mode on, so I can't be killed. I can put No Clip on, so I can fly around the map, clip through walls, do all that stuff. And then of course there's a button to disable each mod as well third person, so you got third person, freeze player, and that completely freezes it, I can't fire my weapons or do anything until I'm unfrozen, so you can do that to any player as well, um, of course you've got thermal, now thermal is actually red boxes plus thermal, so thermal vision plus red boxes, then there's also um, just red boxes on its own, so no thermal but you get the red boxes on each player. And then there is, of course, unlimited ammo, obviously. So unlimited ammo in my weapons and in my secondary weapons as well. 
Oh, just got two kills there. Um, and then also grenades. So you've got unlimited grenades and unlimited secondary grenades as well. So that is, that's those options. Invisibility, so your gun and everything disappears. And you can disable that, of course, as well. And you can do that on any player. So another cool option I have in here is um, teleportation. So I can grab the teleport coordinates of each player who's in the game. So you can see somebody running around. You can see his teleport coordinates are changing. So if I select myself, I can do stuff like, um, or select someone else and I can teleport them to sky. So that sends them up into the sky. And of course, I can do the same to myself. Teleport player to sky. And I'll land on top of the map barrier. I can just rain down grenades onto people from here. Um, so yeah, that is basically teleportation. Now there's quite a few different options in here actually. So one of them is teleport a selected player to me. So I can select a player and teleport them to me. And boom, they are teleported to me. Um, I can also teleport all players to me. So take a little while, but every single one of them. Oh, there they are. So they all teleport to my general area. Um, and then let's do that again. Actually, oh, I should have done. I should have been selecting myself there. There we go. That's better. So it teleports them all to me now. And on top of that, let's get this guy out of here. He's killing everyone. Right, so on top of that, I can also um, teleport to a selected player. So let's take um, th that guy way over there. Uh, what's his name? This guy, I think. No, it's not him. Where is he? Fetch clients. Oh, this, this guy right here. So I can go ahead and teleport to him. So teleport to selected player. And boom. I am teleported right to him. And if I want to teleport over to this guy, SMIF, SMIF, teleport to selected player, and boom, I'm teleported straight to him. So that works as well. Um, another cool thing you can do, of course, is change client gamer tags. Um, well, sorry, PS3, uh, PS4, client name, what do you call it anyway? Um, not a gamer tag, that's Xbox. You know what I mean, client name changer. Um, so for example, I can go ahead and change my name to modded warfare with a space and set client name and now you can see up there in the scoreboard it's changed I can also change it to say I want to change it to modded um, I can do static multicolor so it will change each character to a different color and I can also do dynamic multicolor which will cycle through all the different colors um, for your name and yeah, you can do that too. And of course you can change other clients. I can select somebody else, change his name to, uh, I don't know, modded or something. Set client name. There you go, his changes to modded. So you can change each person's uh, name and game as well. And if I go ahead and teleport or no clip myself down here, whoop, too fast, there we go. Teleport myself down here, kill this guy. And then I will teleport all players to me. So these guys will all teleport back down here. And then I can give one of them like no clip or something. So let's take SMIF, give him no clip. And, oh, he's gone. Has he gone? Let me teleport him to me and then I can see. Teleport to, uh, teleport selected player to me. There he is. Oh. He's, he's all over the place. He's, t <laughs> he's not going up, he's just going side to side. But yeah, you can see he's in no clip. That's the thing, AIs don't have a clue what to do with no clip. They just glitch out or they go all over the place. So yeah, he's cl no clipping everywhere. So that is what you can do. You can apply any one of these mods to any of the clients. Player speed is another one. Let's uh, apply that to myself maximum player speed so you can run much faster and then of course you can also drag the bar further down to kind of slow down your movement or set it back to default which I think is sort of 0 0.9 uh, maybe 1 I think it's 1 actually yeah that seems more like normal player speed so yeah that is basically the tool and the advanced warfare tool is exactly the same 
Um, another thing to show you guys is the is back in the lobby there is a uh, class name editor where you can also edit your squad member names and your loadout names so that you can you know add colors and stuff to them which as soon as this decides to actually go back to the lobby we'll be able to see Okay, so create a soldier. As you can see, I've already done this. I've already modded them. Um, but as you, yeah. So basically, what you can do, if we select squad member uh, number one, and I'm gonna make it green, modded warfare. And as for the, as for the class names, like I could select loadout one, to let's just call it, uh, let's just call it loadout but we'll make it red. So I can do that and if I set class name now you can see um, this changes to green modded warfare as I set here and then this has changed to loadout. And then of course I can do loadout 2, um, loadout 3, loadout 4, loadout 5 and loadout 6. And now if I go back out and go back in, they've all changed to loadout in red. And so you can do that with each one. So I can select squad member two. Let's make it modded warfare in red. And let's set loadout one to just loadout in red. So now that changes to loadout in red. And that changes to modded warfare in red. So you can change your squad member names. Now the cool thing about this is you can also set um, all of the loadouts at once. So let's say I want squad member one and we want that to stay green and we want to set all the loadouts to loadout in green I can do set all and then set name and now when I go back in they're all changed to loadout in green so you can set all at once basically and you can even do set all colored so I want to set them all to modded warfare back out, click set class names, go back in and they're all changed to modded warfare in different colors, different colors for each loadout. So that is basically the tool, that is the ghost tool, advanced warfare tool, pretty much the same, I'll just open it so you guys can see, advanced warfare doesn't have different squad members so it's just the class names um, for, for advanced warfare but it's, it's the same premise and of course the client mods are pretty much the same. Uh, besides UFO is not quite the same as, as no clip but similar and of course you've got your teleport options you got all your your you've got laser sight on this one and red boxes and thermal and all that stuff exo cloak so you yes yeah, so yeah that is basically um, my ps4 multi cod tool it's released right now on uh, next gen update in the ps4 mods and cheats section uh, that's where I posted it anyway and uh, yeah the download the link to that page where I posted the download link will be in the description so go ahead and uh, download it and try it out and uh, yeah thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did go ahead and leave a like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already comment if you have any questions and I will see you guys in the next video